Yeah. Welcome to Weird Shit Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not the episode yet. This is the Patreon promotion for the episode oh. because we need people to send us money because it will help us with making the show. Like right now, we literally sit here. I have this one fucking microphone. I would like to Ridley have Scott microphones. Ridley Scott, we are asking you publicly for money. Please donate to our Patreon. Carmelo Anthony, I have not seen your name appear on our Patreon yet. You obviously aren't practicing. You could at least spend that time sending us Patreon money. But what else would we get besides a microphone? How we would be able to pay our hosting dues without them coming out of my money. Plus, uh, we might be able to, like, actually <laughs> record more episodes more oh, often. Could, could we please get one of those, like, wacky zoo radio soundboards? Yes. <laughs> we can get a zoo radio soundboard. We could get a, uh, we could get, like, a fucking bong in the shape of an alien head. We can get, like, <laughs> a tobacco water pipe. A tobacco water pipe to call in the shape of an alien head. We can get a Ouija board table. That would be dope. No oh, thanks. A little Ouija board. I don't want a Luigi board in my apartment. <laughs> a Ouija board? What's wrong with the Luigi board? Uh, they're clearly evil. <laughs> we haven't done that episode yet, so we don't know we, that they're evil. Oh. That's right, we don't. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, well. But uh, if our listeners My hypothesis goes, is that they are evil. <laughs> if the listeners go to www.patreon.com slash weirdshippodcast uh, they'll be able to donate whatever they want to us and it would be a huge help for the show and maybe we'd be able to get more shit done minimum $1,000 <laughs> minimum, minimum <laughs> buy in <laughs> Hey guys, it's Lainey, host of the True Crime Fan Club podcast. If you're a true crime addict like I am, then my podcast is for you. It's a podcast for the ultimate true crime enthusiast, giving you a glimpse into the life and crimes of the most demented minds. You won't want to miss an episode. Hey everybody, this is Steven. And this is Chris. And we're the hosts of the brand new podcast, Is This Adulting? Every week, we're going to sit down to have a discussion about life, culture, our own mental health struggles, and just about anything you can think of. Have you ever wondered which breakfast cereal is the best? Or how to help your friends who are dealing with mental illness? Or why waterbeds were a thing? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then have we got a show for you. And remember kids, be happy, stay healthy, and go hug someone. Because you never know, they might just be starting a podcast. I was, uh, playing by the chicken coop uh, that we had uh, in the backyard of our house. And then all of a sudden I, f- I heard the, you know, the outhouse door open, uh, kind of creaking open real slowly. And I saw this creature's head uh, looking over through the doorway. First thing that I saw was his eyes and, and then its head. And uh, I noticed it didn't have any ears. As it looked at me, it looked at me like a very, I don't know, uh, like it wanted me to come over to him. Like he, it seemed like I was his, he was the predator, I was the victim. First I thought it was the devil. First I thought it was a, a, an alien from, you know, some creature from outer space. Who knows, I mean, I know what I saw. At, even at that, at that age, I, it's something like you never forget, you know, something that, scares the hell out of you, you're going to remember it. What I saw is it looked like part kangaroo and part something else. It seemed like it was talking to me, you know, telepathy, you know. It, it was just like it was telling me, hey, come over here. Uh, I want you. So, right onto his laptop. <laughs> it's a goddamn walking catastrophe. Uh, gets up, walks over, crushes your cup. <laughs>
It's like, oh man, my <laughs> name's <is Recap." laughs> Straight out of The Simpsons. <laughs> Welcome to the Weird Ship Podcast. This is Mike. What the? F- oh man, were you recording that? <laughs> my yeah, that's <laughs> no, not fair. <laughs> it's it's our witty banter. I have to have banter at the beginning of the episode. Witty banter. <laughs> it's a woody word. It's a woody word. Such a woody word. Banter. <laughs> no, no, that's, banter. That's a tinny course. word. Banter course. <laughs> that's what's happening right now, people. You're getting banter course. <laughs> Hope so, you enjoy it. So uh, today we're going to be talking about El Chupacabra. Our El Chupacabra. nemesis. Which one? <laughs> the uh, the Puerto Rican one, actually. Mm-hmm. Are there different ones? There yeah, there are. Ones. There are different ones. So, uh, what do you what do you know about the Chupacabra Palmer? Uh, it's like a it's like a animal that eats sheep, yeah. and goat, and livestock, and like I don't know. It, that's it. That's all I got. Yep. So. Uh, so what do you know about Chupacabra, Ryan? So they're like, like uh, Palmer was saying, they're a small creature that eats livestock. Um, I like to think of them as like an impish sort of looking creature. Okay. Um, no no hair, sort of just like, sort of, their skin is like like an egg shaped, uh, or smooth as an egg. Like football skin. Exactly. They got like football skin. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um, they also have um, eight legs. Okay, <laughs> and they have antennae. I think you're. Uh, I think you're describing a spider of some kind. <laughs> I like to picture my chupacabra <laughs> singing lead for Leonard <laughs> with an all yeah. angel band. <laughs> no, sorry, singing lead for Los Lonely Boys. <laughs> <laughs> I like to picture my chupacabra having lightsaber battles, like atop Mount Olympus. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, the chupacabra, the ch- chupacabra. <laughs> Oh, beer on my face! Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, Robert! Robert just sprayed beer everywhere. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't <laughs> oh, It's all over my phone. Oh my god! Dude, it's all in my drink. Can you imagine what a chupacabra would look like? Ah, <laughs> uh, shit! New episode. I'm actually really proud of that. So the, uh, the Chupacabra was first sighted in Puerto Rico in March of 1995. Uh, no, wait, 1995? That's way too soon. Well, here's the thing, right? That's the first reported sighting. But, like, Puerto, Puerto Rican people claim that it's been there for a long time. Uh, but then, like, as far as, like, documented sightings we have, they only go back to 1995. So when was the first documented Recording of an El Chupacabra. <laughs> uh, that as was of ten a, seconds ago. For him, that was June twelfth of twenty seventeen. <laughs> All right, listen, everyone. For those of you who are not currently present, what just happened was Robert spit tank directly in the side of my head, <laughs> uh, basically onto all of us. <laughs> onto because- <laughs> Because we're sitting in a circle <laughs> around one microphone. Because we are trying really hard to give you guys better sound quality. I it like suffers for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> we, so, we, are, we put ourselves in danger of Robert's spit and <laughs> bodily functions. You should, you I should apologize. Next time don't say things like Chupacobra <laughs> when I'm freaking <laughs> beer. It's El Chupacobra. Yeah, it's El Chupacobra, sir. <laughs> So uh, he's described as the goat sucker, which is literally what his name means, Chupacabra. Uh, it, and in 95, it was spotted a whole bunch of times. Um, How many times? A bunch of times. It's at least eight. Palmer says three. And, uh, <laughs> and it's also been... <laughs> six. It's also been uh, said to have been in the deserts of Mexico and the southwestern U.S. But here's my problem with that, right? It's an important The Rico actual... The actual chupacabra, like the original sightings, had it as like this scaly bipedal creature with like big eyes and claws. Scaly, that was and, like, the word I was looking for. Little wings. I don't know. I was talking about eggs. <laughs> <laughs> well, reptiles lay eggs. Okay, there we go. There you go. Close enough. So clearly, if it has scales, it's going to lay eggs. Thank you. I mean, eggs would come straight to your fucking mind if it's scaly. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. So this thing, we got you, fam. So this thing uh, has like tiny little wings, big old eyes, claws, a big ass head. It basically looks like a scaly gray with like sharp teeth and claws and like tiny little bat wings. Where's the cobra head? 
<laughs> this is a different thing. Oh. <laughs> it's it's penis is a cobra head that like spits Jesus. at you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's the That's chupacabra. Horrifying. Is, it, is it venomous? Is that, is that what happened to the Aztecs? No, it's poisonous. It won't kill you unless you eat it. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> so uh got to stop gobbling that uh chupacabra cock. <laughs> so uh basically my my problem with the these things that are like, oh, it's been in, it's been sighted in Mexico and the southwestern U.S. is like, they basically all of that comes from this one woman in Texas who was like, I killed myself a chupacabra, and like it was literally a coyote with mange. It looks nothing like the bipedal, scaly, gray creature like the chupacabra described in Puerto Rico. So, it was, but it was like a coyote with mange that killed a couple of her livestock, and she's like, it was a chupacabra, and I'm like. So, so she already knew. Where did she know of uh, chupacabras from? It's in like Spanish culture. It's a thing that's like kind of permeated between a lot of the different. So it sort of Spanish had like a rebirth cultures. because of her. Yeah, like the the whole thing where it shows up in Texas and or it came it came north with her. Yeah, yeah. like, uh, but the uh, the first known attacks were in March of 1995 in Puerto Rico. Uh, basically, uh, eight sheep were discovered dead. Each completely drained of blood, um, and the investigators, when they looked at them, they found three strange puncture wounds, like in the chest of the animals. Uh, and the authorities were like, "Nah, it must have been like a fox or like a dog or something." Even yeah, though they had like no totally, blood left. Yeah, it's totally something that both fox and dogs do. Yeah, <laughs> they're renowned for like biting into you and then taking like a like. One of those crazy straws with like all the loops in it, and just <laughs> until you're dry. Give me all your blood. <laughs> you just look like that deflated mannequin from Airplane. <laughs> yeah. The autopilot. Yeah. What I think is pretty interesting about it, though, is like uh, exangu- exanguination is also a big part of like cattle mutilation. A what? Like. Uh, Ex- uh, having all your blood drained oh, okay. is like uh, it's part of like the cattle mutilation thing. So like uh, in a lot of the cattle mutilation cases, there'll be like no blood left in the carcass of the animal at all. So uh, a lot of people, uh, I'll get into that more as <laughs> as we go further. Because like I said, the uh, chupacabra seems to look an awful lot like a gray. Oh, like a what? Shit. So. Uh, the, the woman who first sighted the monster, a Mrs. Uh, Madeline uh, Tolentino, had an eyewitness description, uh, which was used to come up with the drawing of the chupacabra. Um, she said she saw the beast through a picture window outside her house in Canovas. Uh, uh, wait, Canovanas. Canovanas. Puerto Rico. <laughs> during the second week, I am having vodka right now. So, uh, during the second and week, beer. yeah, yeah, now yeah, beer too, now. That too. Whether we like it or not, <laughs> <laughs> just absorbing it through our skin. <laughs> yeah. During the uh, second week of August 1995, um, Tontino said the bipedal animal had dark gray or black eyes that were quote uh, damp and protruding running up to its temples and spreading to the sides, uh, like a gray would have. So they're like the big, big ass eyes. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, it was about four feet in, uh, four feet in height. And at the time it was walking like a human on both legs. Its arms were drawn back <laughs> in an attack position, like the Naruto run. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> As the it's TV it's monster. a fucking like four foot albino weeaboo. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to trying to get the like animazement just like <laughs> stuck in Puerto Rico for some reason. It's like arms flapping behind just him, fucking running around, killing livestock, drinking them with a fucking crazy straw. <laughs> was he carrying his waifu with him? <laughs> <laughs> he just had like a body pillow dragging behind him. <laughs> He's like sneaking into people's houses and like. There's like three puncture marks in their Mountain Dew cans. <laughs> <laughs> the house was found completely drained of Mountain Dew. <laughs> the the Weeaboo Cabra. The Dew Sucker. <laughs> he used all of their data. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, 
they replace all of the pictures in their house with jiggling anime titties. <laughs> so, uh, no, no complaints were filed. <laughs> So, uh, she said it had three long, skinny fingers, and that its arms were also very long. Its hair, quote, was rather short and close to its body. Rather well combed, in fact. Uh, Does it have, like, a comb over? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) In just this one town, like, 30 different people claimed to have seen the chupacabra, and said that it had swooped down from the sky and leapt over treetops. Um, And in uh, November 19th of 1995... Uh, they gave a detailed description of the chupacabras um, because the creature attacked again. Basically, these farmers woke up and they saw dozens of turkeys, rabbits, goats, cats, dogs, horses, and cows dead with no explainable cause. Just the mysterious markings left by the blood-drinking chupacabras. Um, so, all of these animals, like, in the same spot? I don't know. Yeah, like, this, these farmers woke up and, like, all of their animals were dead, basically. Man, fuck these chupacabras. <laughs> Killing cats? It's expensive as fuck. <laughs> Killing cats? Come How does on. a four-foot creature suck the blood out of, like, 40 fucking animals yeah. and not be a round ball? Do they hunt blood? in packs? It's just like a mosquito, but four feet. Just Dude, <laughs> I didn't even think about it, but what if they do hunt in packs? And they, That's and why it, they're, like, so fast. And they, like, yeah. walk in single file to hide their numbers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they all use the same bite marks, but in a triangle pattern. Exactly. <laughs> just two at a time. <laughs> they each have, like, one tooth. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, like, three of them watching off of the like same animal. Like a triforce animal. of chupacabra blood sucking. <laughs> that would be... Our powers combined, we get fucking wasted on blood, yo! <laughs> <laughs> time to get blood drunk? <laughs> what? <laughs> Puerto Rico is dope! <laughs> Woo! Oh no, my Spring cow! Break 95! <laughs> Let's drink this cow! <laughs> Bro, watch me shotgun this cow! <laughs> <laughs> they just crack that open and just crack open a cold one with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Marry a man! Uh, but, um, I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, also, in the city of Caguas, uh, another guy, like, saw it, and he like described it. He described it as having huge red eyes and hairy arms. Uh, the creature allegedly broke into the bedroom of the house through a window. Allegedly. Tore apart a child's stuffed teddy bear and left a puddle of slime and a single piece of rancid meat on the windowsill before disappearing. So that one could just be a really, really high drug addict. Because <laughs> yeah. it just had bloodshot eyes. <laughs> it was like, no, it's in the bear, I swear. <laughs> But it's like and then he left his lunches it. behind yeah. as an offering. Yeah, yep. that makes sense. Couldn't afford real meat, so he has rancid meat. Exactly, <laughs> so it's rancid. Uh, basically, in 1995, the chupacabras have been blamed for more than 1,000 mysterious animal deaths. <laughs> <laughs> All of them resulting from blood loss through one or more puncture wounds. <laughs> I almost made it too. <laughs> 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 Uh, and basically, they consistently described it as being monkey-like, but with no tail, having the large red eyes that sometimes glowed, gray skin, a long snake-like tongue, fangs, long spinal quills that may double as wings, and uh, that it has a would sulfur-like stitch. Wings? I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Do they just, like, shoot so fast that they, like, project force <laughs> <Maybe> <laughs> to, create, to create lift? Maybe someone didn't know, because they were speaking Spanish, they didn't know the correct translation of feather, yeah. and they thought of quill as in, like, the pen, there right? There you go. Yeah. 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 That could be it. Yep. They had two quills, quote-unquote, but it's really just two giant feathers. <laughs> There's also a like right? actually a pterodactyl. We just solved it. Yep. <laughs> yep. And they drink from a straw in packs. <laughs> <laughs> just like cracking open of... the warm ones with the bullets. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bunch of spring breaking aliens in Puerto Rico cracking open a bunch of livestock. Exactly. That's not that weird. Yep. Uh, so, um, also at some of these, they uh, they said that it hops like a kangaroo, has a uh, foul what? sulfur-like stench. And at, so the site, yeah. and at the site of <laughs> some deaths, uh, unidentified three-toed I mean, tracks were found. Bad gas too. If there are drink so a many, yeah. like, <laughs> just conflicting descriptions. They just 
Now, I feel like so they're all, they all go hand in hand to create like a complete picture. Mm-hmm. We really have a good a accurate really idea. Mutilated picture. They just they have, have like, red eyes. Like a four they have black eyes. I know weeaboo. Well, some of them are gray, some of them are black. They have two different eye colors, but they're oh, always female bloodshot. and male. No, he has bloodshot. bigger. He has big eyes because he's been in his mom's basement for like forty plus years yep. without sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> if, if we are going by the weeaboo theory, right? I'm not 100 percent on the weeaboo theory. It's either an alien, a weeaboo, or an alien weeaboo. Holy shit! <laughs> what well, is then an alien like? weeaboo? Yeah. Uh, like obviously, are weeaboo? they just like our weeaboos? I mean, aliens would totally be weeaboos because of how big the eyes are on all the anime chicks. They would totally be into that. Yeah. They Holy would. shit! What, and what if instead of like a. 3D and they have bigger heads than regular ass people. Too. All, the, all the tentacles, like they're totally down with tentacles. They are. Down. <laughs> what, what, what they are, they are DTT. What if instead of like a 3D PD waifu, it's a 4D PD waifu? Because <laughs> they're one more dimension. <laughs> see, and right now they're going around sucking goats because they're trying to reach the fifth dimension of waifus. Makes since sense. it's like the reptilians. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That uh, one's too far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's one too many dimensions. <laughs> so, uh, basically, there was, um, before this, there was a thing in February of 1975 that was called the uh, Vampiro de Moja, uh, where Mocha? basically in this Puerto Rican town, uh, 15 cows, three goats, two geese, and a pig were all found with the four, same puncture marks geese. Uh, in the Roca uh, Barrio suburbs of, of Moca. So it's like every 20 years? Yeah. Holy shit. That means... Dude, you that just was... fucking made a fact right then. No, that is like 20 fucking years, That's right? literally 20 years. So hang yeah. on. I wonder... to 95. I wonder uh, if there were any sightings in 2015. Like, I didn't even... I didn't even connect that shit, right? But here's this. So, like, my personal theory on this fucking... On the Chupacabra in general is I think that it's some sort of extra-dimensional creature... Mm-hmm. So, like, what if every 20 years the dimensions, like, rub together enough to pop one of these motherfuckers out? You got the, uh, that's what's you got, going you got the Black Lodge, you got the White Lodge, you got the <laughs> Chupacabra Lodge. Lodge. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to get Bob back in the lodge. <laughs> and so, like, yeah, basically uh, this thing, the El Vampiro de Moca, it also... Uh, Attacked a whole bunch of animals, like, back in 1975. The elephant bit all the cheese. Uh, quote, day and night, over the radio, over television, they were constantly talking about this chupacabra activity going on. This was very serious to them. They'd wake up one morning and find the carcass of their four favorite rabbits sucked dry of blood and just lying there on the ground. But not their four not favorite rabbits. <laughs> yeah, of course it eats like, the favorite Why'd ones. Why'd you eat the favorite ones, you piece like, of shit? Like everyone had four different rabbits that were their favorites? That well, no, everybody had or just, eight. Or everyone collectively <laughs> had the four same <laughs> favorite rabbits. I think everybody had eight. But he only ate the four favorite ones of each family. So everyone collectively owned eight, or they each had eight of their own? They had to at least well, have rabbits. five rabbits. They're, they're rabbits, so I think they each owned eight, because so there are a lot of rabbits. So the Chupacabra, like, studied them to learn which was their favorite rabbits. It took 20 years <laughs> just of memorizing <laughs> these families. Yeah. Then they came in and consumed all their favorite rabbits. Just... Those, those are flying reptilian bitches. Those, ones, those four. So apparently... The, that woman, Madeline Tolentino, her description of the thing was influenced by the creature from the horror film Species. She had just watched Species. <laughs> yeah, she yeah, probably like just thing. watched Species. She was just really confused and thought the events of Species actually <laughs> took place in Puerto Rico. And just to clarify, they did not actually happen in Puerto <laughs> when did, Rico. When did Gremlins come out? Uh, <laughs> 90s? 80s? I think 80s. What if yeah. someone watched it a little late? <laughs> it's a 1995. <laughs> it's a yesterday. And went, oh shit! That looks real! That, that just happened! happened. That just she happened! She had like dementia and combined the plots of gremlins and species. But see, I don't remember the thing in species having big eyes. I remember it having like regular, like human sized eyes. I honestly don't remember creepy. what she looked like as an alien thing. I she, purposely... she had like chitinous armor. And, I've like, never skin seen that movie, so stuff, I wouldn't so know. That's a good word. Like that. That. That <laughs> Thank nice. you. I, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> I was like, what's a good description? I just what remember it is? that. That pretty much perfectly describes <laughs> what she was. But 
Other than that, I pretty much blacked out that entire franchise from memory <laughs> because it's a horrible abomination. All I remember is never that is Don't that there was a naked Alfred Molina and I could not stop screaming. <laughs> exactly. That's all I can remember about that movie. There are war crimes that were better than that series of movies. Yeah, the Holocaust. <laughs> that movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, basically, uh, a lot of people say that the sightings of the Chupacabra are untrustworthy because of, like, Robert said. Um, there's a lot of different uh, theories as to the origin of it. Um, some suggest that the creature is a modified vampire bat or extraterrestrial extra <laughs> bat. Extra Mother Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. When did Mother Teresa die? Was it in... Was it before 95? Because if it was before 95 and she just like splits open and this thing comes out and starts eating ghosts. She just split open into the, and like the events of the species film happen. (laughs) She died in 97. Well, no, too, too early. Too early. Could have been her psychic projection. Maybe she was just the thing from species. (laughs) <laughs> so uh, Mother, from. Mother Teresa and Natasha Henstridge they look the same right yeah 100% <laughs> I don't know what either of those people look like don't ever you don't want to know no uh, other don't. people think that it's like part of a uh, top secret government experiment it's mm. always a top yeah. secret government experiment but, but here's the thing right <laughs> yeah. Puerto Rico they have a bit of a history of this uh-huh. because like literally they uh, the US government was like giving people cancer on purpose in Puerto Rico and uh, like well, subjecting to them to subjecting them to Agent Orange and like the original birth control pill testing took place in Puerto Rico it's without them knowing what state. it was. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> they're not people. They were like, they were like, oh, here's like a whole willing group of people that can't do anything about it. Let's speaking of, go fuck think, with them. Do you think the Chupacabra voted for statehood? <laughs> oh, he had to. Have, I right? feel like he definitely <laughs> voted for Trump. <laughs> he probably did. Well, they're he, cousins. Because, well, if we deport all the Mexicans back, then he'll have a bigger food supply. <laughs> of course, he would be pro that. <laughs> he would be pro a larger food supply. Um, Just, he's like sitting there getting his bendy straws ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Here they come. Bring them on back. <laughs> he just has like three. So he just sticks them in at the same time. <laughs> It's like getting on that Amazon, ordering like 500 boxes of those. <laughs> yeah, so there's like a... Uh, the same one more than once. No, gross, maybe he's just using Twizzlers. <laughs> 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 so yeah, basically in 1931, this guy, Dr. Cornelius uh, Rhodes, was sponsored by the Rockefeller Institute to conduct experiments in Puerto Rico. He infected Puerto Rican citizens with cancer cells... Uh, supposedly to study the effects, and 13 of them died. Is it just me, or does Dr. Cornelius Rhodes kind of sound like a like comic book character? He definitely like, sounds like, like a, a comic book villain. Yeah. yeah, it's like 13 <laughs> out of 15. So this he guy... Sounds like a low-level villain. I mean, well, he Dr. was hired... Cornelius he was literally Rhodes, hired by the Rockefeller Institute. Dr. Evil Guy. Also known as <laughs> the Chupacabra. Yeah. He, was, he was literally hired by the Rockefeller Institute, who are, like, the closest thing you could get to Spectre in real life. <laughs> yeah. uh, and he's quoted as saying, quote, The Puerto Ricans are the dirzy, dirtiest, laziest, most degenerate, and thievish race of men ever to inhabit this sphere. Jesus. I have done my best to further the process of extermination by killing off eight and transplanting cancer into several more. All physicians take delight in the abuse and torture of the unfortunate subjects. Well, see, what's wrong with his statement is he said, Sphere. The <laughs> earth is flat. I'm mean, a <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> Moron. So, like, that's fucking, like... That is, that is like, intensely racist. Yeah. <laughs> that is way more racist than I expected that to be. <laughs> that, yeah, that was... I that mean, was a bit rough. I mean, the Rockefellers are pretty world renowned for being racist. Well, I was expecting racist. I wasn't expecting like I gleefully terminated <laughs> eight of them. What's What's amazing? I and personally extinguished the them. life force. What's amazing of eight to of me number. is like the Rockefellers are like some of the richest people in like New York or whatever, right? In the world, yeah, period. yeah, yeah. But I mean, like they they live in New York or yeah. whatever. That's where they live, and. Like, the highest population of Puerto Ricans in the United States live in fucking New York. Like, I feel Why do you the think problem. they live there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Food 
good source. <laughs> Rockefellers, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> You We're just blew this it. whole goddamn thing wide open. <laughs> you just blew my fucking mind. <laughs> we just blew this thing open. I saw where you were going with that, and I just went, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> they probably are chupacabras. That's why you never see them during sense. the day. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm saying is I've never seen a rock and a chupacabra in the same place at the same time. <laughs> I've never so, even seen a chupacabra, though. <laughs> <laughs> So here's some some pretty interesting stuff, right? Is I found out uh, while I was looking into this, there's this thing called the Grunch Road Monster. It's a grunch, uh, grunch, yeah, it's Grunch, like grunch. <laughs> in New Orleans. It's, it's like, like it's like the Grinch, but, but yes. <laughs> no, 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 it's like Kurt Cobain and is the Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Grinch with like. A striped sweater and like his hair over one eye. <laughs> Here go. It's the Grinch like, that didn't care guitar. about Christmas. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> just sitting there saying, like, <laughs> I never get what I want anyway. <laughs> Life is pain. <laughs> I just want heroin. <laughs> so, so uh, the Grinch Road Monster uh, sounds an awful lot like the fucking Chupacabra, like from the way it was described. And it's been seen in New Orleans since like the 1700s. But, like, uh, what I thought was super interesting about that is that, like, a lot of the trade from Puerto Rico would come in through New Orleans. So it's, like, uh, it's literally, like, we've had diseases and people and, and like, animals and stuff come in that way through, like, trade ships. Maybe, uh, maybe the Chupacabra came along with it, like, through that path, which would be pretty fucking, pretty dope. Makes yep. sense. I believe it. I don't think that's classified as dope. <laughs> I, I would say terrifying, dude, if anything. tell me you wouldn't want to see a chupacabra. No. Not what? a close. Oh, dude, I'd love... You <laughs> maybe, can kick it. It's it like maybe in like a Jurassic tall. Park style. Yes. If you don't have any livestock, I mean, there's no concern, right? Well, I thought he would eat me. No. I mean... I have blood... They only go after. What, I'm not. I'm, yeah. not, good I'm not good people, enough for this fucking so thing. There is that. They, they, they might like, go after snips. Maybe yeah, I'm part yeah, cow. Yeah, I feel like your beard is just growing as I'm looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it is. <laughs> like it literally <laughs> just seems to have gotten longer since we started this recording. <laughs> that is true. You, just need to, you need to like finish growing it out into like a Rasputin beard. <laughs> just like. <laughs> Just sit here stroking it the whole time we we do the show. The beard, right? Stroking the beard. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're comfortable. <laughs> do, oh, I'm do perfectly comfortable. comfortable. Are you comfortable? <laughs> I suddenly don't know. <laughs> Just make eye contact. I'm suddenly questioning it. <laughs> but like, uh, like, yeah, I thought it was cool that this uh, this thing had been seen in New Orleans because like they did a lot of trade with like. The Car- with the Caribbean. No, that's not cool. Mm-mm. No. It's interesting. Yeah, I, okay. I, I'd totally want to see a fucking chupacabra. Oh, I would be you're down. weird. <laughs> I would be down to see a fucking Holy chupacabra. Shit, <laughs> oh, shit, they said it. <laughs> <laughs> they said the name of the show the show. What? This thing, it dates all the way back to, like, 1718. Uh, and, like, the... Wait, what? <laughs> it's also been sense. called the Vampire of Farboro Marini. How is the Chupacabra? What if we gave Puerto Rico El Chupacabra? If ours dates back to the fucking 1700s, then in I theirs mean, yeah, only dates back to 1995. New Orleans to Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah. And we, then back we again, infect Mexico. them. What if it's a government experiment? And we gave it to them to see what would happen. <laughs> yeah, we caught one in New Orleans. We caught a fucking grunch. We like chloroformed <laughs> it, shoved it in a box, and shipped it to Puerto Rico in a box marked it bananas. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and you know they can't resist opening a box marked bananas. <laughs> they got they got so many uh, capuchin monkeys down there. They go through bananas like that. Like that. <laughs> so the monkeys pop over the crate full of bananas, <laughs> and the grudge sucks dry the monkeys, so there's no witnesses anymore to tell us what happened, and then it escapes into the jungle. Should I be the monkey sucker, then? I feel like it should be the monkey sucker. It's an everything sucker. Like, uh, it's called the goat sucker, but it sucks everything. I'm saying it's... Mostly is. dicks. <laughs> I can testify to that. <laughs> uh, so... 
I'm um, saying is if you're in Puerto Rico and you're looking to get some, <laughs> go to the jungle and just start making the maiden call dress of El Chupacabra. <laughs> dress up as a goat. What is the maiden call of El Chupacabra? It's just, just like... <laughs> <laughs> so, it's definitely that. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> it's hey hey I'm gonna real play hey smells like teen uh, chupacabra <laughs> so uh I think you guys will like this um an old voodoo hoodoo story says Marie Laveau castrated the devil baby when he was born to stop him producing more of his evil kind, and that the bloody testicles allegedly turned into a male and female grunch upon falling to the floor. Like immediately? Whereupon they attacked the great voodoo queen, <laughs> Marie Laveau. Holy shit. Jesus. The grunts are said to have almost killed her with their fierce bites and punching. Can we... They're just beating the shit out of her. Yeah. <laughs> that needs to be can a movie. We, yeah. yeah. I mean, can Ridley we please Scott. get a Marie Laveau versus Grunge movie? <laughs> Ridley Scott. <laughs> We're publicly asking you. It's just Jim Carrey as both grunches. <laughs> <laughs> as both the male and female grunge. That would be perfect. Oh my god. And Marie Laveau. <laughs> He's playing like all of them, just fighting himself. Yeah, Eddie Murphy this shit. <laughs> <laughs> or we could get a... You gotta have that old black guy in the corner having <laughs> sage advice. <laughs> well, you see, you're not punching it right. You're, just, you're fucking it up. You just don't know how to fight grunge testicles. <laughs> Back in when I was younger, I would I would have showed you how to do it. Though. In my days, I fought like, many a grunge. fireballs at it and shit. Because she's got like, voodoo magic. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, the grunge are said to have almost killed her with their fierce bites and punching. Um... <laughs> they're just like the, fucking double dragging her ass. Their you strength was like so terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> their strength was so terrifying that she fainted. Uh, and when she awoke, the grunch and the devil baby were gone. Uh, Laveau was near death after this, and many have said this is where Marie Laveau gave up her voodoo hoodoo ways and went back to being a good Catholic woman. Fuck yeah. This I, sounds... I wouldn't quit doing voodoo. <laughs> yeah. that shit this sounds like a Catholic folk tale to, to be fair I feel like to... we would need to do we would at least need to do a prequel too about the devil baby like where the hell did this devil baby thing come from yeah. right it would just be called <laughs> it Voodoo came from Tom Cruise who do <laughs> we'll do that in the like <laughs> overly elaborate oh guys, my god have you guys noticed that Tom Cruise has a middle tooth mm. yeah he pointed this out to yeah. me yesterday I, I was it's telling just, Robert about it fucking yeah. weird so <laughs> Tom Cruise right most people uh, when they smile, they have two front teeth, like on the top. Tom Cruise, fucking three of them. He has one in the middle. He has like a middle tooth. Well, no, his teeth are just slightly off. Mm-mm. Yeah, I need to see this. It, it literally looks like he has one in front of those other. Yeah, I mean, teeth. I've seen it. It's so fucking weird. Oh, he does. <laughs> I it's think so weird. My hypothesis: that's his reptilian egg breaking tooth. Yep. For when he had to like get out of the egg. Yep. He just hatched like. Pecked his way out with that too. I thought, of a, have a I thought of a movie title for this Voodoo Hoodoo Electric Boogaloo. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> how, the, <laughs> how the Grunch stole New Orleans. <laughs> how the Grunch stole New Orleans. <laughs> no, it'd be Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah. How the Grunch stole Puerto Rico. <laughs> That's just, why we haven't made it a state yet. We haven't found the Grunch. <laughs> the Grunch is just like. Stowed away in the banana crate, singing the Chiquita banana song, like, <laughs> bouncing around while he's sailing to Puerto Rico. Oh wait, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it all grunge style, all grungy, <laughs> all grungy. <laughs> so, uh, cinnamon toast. He, he later went on to form <laughs> the band Blind Melon. Uh, <laughs> so, the most common description of the New Orleans brunch is a goat-like being appearing to have leathery or scaly black skin and sharp spines with long horns or quills running down its back. The creature stands approximately three to four feet high. They're also said to seem more intelligent and have human-like skills, able to open doors, use tools... Yeah, open doors and use tools, like how a monkey or a primate would. 
Uh, it's said to howl like a wolf, so it's a weird scream like movie. a banshee, or bellow and screech like an ape when alarmed, as well as leave a strong stench, the sulfur smell. So it, you go, boo, and it goes, ah! <laughs> and then runs away. Like a monkey. Yeah, like a monkey. Like a monkey does. And just poos in its hand, throws it at you, and then runs away. Oh, you guys smell that? It smells like... Uh, sulfur. <laughs> its eyes are also said to glow an unusual red orange or blue green. Those are I gotta say, in general, Louisiana <laughs> just has like the best weird ass cryptids. <laughs> well, it's from all the inbreeding. Probably. <laughs> it's a weird place. And it's because people try to describe them and like you just get gibberish. Yeah. So man, <laughs> 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 Uh, so basically, most of the sightings of the Grunch are around, supposedly around the same road, uh, which is in a remote part of eastern New Orleans, near the, near the community of Little Woods. Most people no, no, <laughs> only ever encountered Grunch Road by accident. Uh, a dead end of scant shells and sand, sheltered by overgrown woods and great tall water oaks. It led into the ferny darkness off the major two-lane highway of Hain Boulevard. Although evidence for the Grunch Road being haunted by this beast is anecdotal, it's interesting to find an old tale that has its reflections in a more recent sighting. Uh, basically, this woman in Harvey, Louisiana, said she saw one, like one of the grunts or uh, grunches, eating one of her neighbor's dogs. And uh, also, sanitation workers uh, say that they've seen them raiding garbage cans. Or, like, chasing after garbage trucks, like, in that area. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, I see one of them devil things running after my garbage truck the other day. Just like a fucking uh, garbage truck driver, just, just, garbage just like, speeding truck. away. It's, it's the Jurassic Park, where yeah. he looks into the rear <laughs> mirror, and it's like... <laughs> they're, like, faster. objects in mirror are closer than they appear, and it's just like a grunge. <laughs> <laughs> Their drink just has the little ripples going, and they're like... <laughs> Oh my god. It's a <laughs> the crunch. crunch is back. <laughs> I also have this here. It's a uh, uh, eyewitness account of a guy in Chile who saw a, uh, saw a chupacabra. Oh, kind of chilly. How did we go from like Louisiana to Chile? Because I'm back to the chupacabra again. It was like a big that's, bowl of chili? But, that's what I was saying. But isn't like Chile like... A really, really far away. Really far away? Yeah. yeah but nice. I mean, chupacabras are sighted literally in Puerto Rico, Chile, so, I mean, uh, South America, Mexico, Chile Southwest South US. America. I know, but <laughs> I was specifying Chile because you were like, why what, Chile? What other countries in South America? Do you want me to name the countries in South America? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Congo. There's... <laughs> there's there's oh, South Africa. There's, <laughs> there's Germany. Mesopotamia. Nigeria. Sumeria. South New Africa. Zealand. <laughs> Peloponnesian <laughs> War. Latveria. Yeah. Wakanda. Yeah. South Korea. <laughs> Best Korea. <laughs> Japan. <laughs> French waifu. <laughs> uh, so, South Africa's big. So this Wait, guy in Chile. America. <laughs> so this guy in Chile, he's like. I remember that we were driving on a small hill about 35 meters from my house. Suddenly it came out of the bushes on the side of the road. Immediately I turned on the high beams. At first I thought it was my brother-in-law because he lives with us. (laughs) Nevertheless, after clearly noticing that it moved at a surprising speed... (laughs) And stood about 20 centimeters from the ground. <laughs> so he knew it wasn't his brother because he was running too fast. What an ass! Apparently his brother is really ugly and he's got, doesn't he's run got very quills fast. coming out of his back. He runs on all fours. Man, his brother's a fucking beast. That's the, uh, that's the feeding tubes that they, <laughs> they use to keep him alive. He's one of those famous Chilean miners. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Uh, it stood about 20 centimeters from the ground. I was absolutely sure that it was not a human being or an animal because it did not touch the ground. A motherfucking hovering. hovering. Uh, <laughs> so it's fucking like flying at it's him, just right? zipping around on a hoverboard. Uh, the creature appeared to be very rigid with its arms stuck to the body in a strange <laughs> way. <laughs> it's totally doing the Naruto run. <laughs> doing the Naruto run at him. Well, it's, it's, it's the Naruto hover. Please sit on that face. (laughs) How did she see me? (laughs) Uh, Like defying all laws of physics, 
It had a ghostly and grotesque aspect. It was gray and white in color and had lots of hair. It almost looked like a hairy coat or a blanket. As I saw it, I asked my wife if she was seeing the same coat? thing that I was. She said, <laughs> she said yes. So it was not just me. But perhaps the most unusual thing we experienced was a strange fear, an inexplicable cold sensation. <laughs> Nevertheless, I tried to remain calm and decided to continue driving towards it. I finally reached the house. Uh, the gate was open, so I did not hesitate to access my driveway. I kept the headlights on so I could see everything in front of us. When we finally accessed our property, we were able to see it again. Then it jumped and disappeared into thin air. We remained inside the car for a few more Fucking, moments. Uh, did it turn into a log? <laughs> I need to know if it turned into a log. <laughs> we have a working hypothesis here. <laughs> we need to know if it turned into I a just, log. I'm kind of leaning towards Midget in a ghillie suit right now. I, all I'm <laughs> imagining is like, it's usually oh, fur, it's like some really expensive fur coat with nothing in it, just... Running like Naruto, <laughs> hovering along. It's like, <laughs> and then it just like fucking. And, he, the guy, and then just all of vanishes and peers behind him. <laughs> and the dude's like chupacabra. That was totally not a ghost. With that was a full, that fur was coat the on. chupacabra. It, it, it like appears behind him and is like nothing. Oh my god! Him. What if it's the ghost of a Rockefeller? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it had the fur coat. That's why it had the fur coat. Oh yeah, my god! It was there to steal their like. Oil and diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your land deed. <laughs> but see, it has quills too, so it was like a porcupine coat. <laughs> it just skinned like a whole bunch of porcupines and turned it into a. It's pretty fucking metal. Some echidnas. <laughs> so, uh. Yeah, echidnas are more. Holy likely. shit. It was, it was a weeaboo in like a fucking, uh, in a fucking Knuckles the Echidna like hoodie. <laughs> just fucking hovering over the ground. That's what happened. What the fuck is going on in the story? <laughs> <laughs> so here's my thing. Facts. <laughs> so in this guy's story, he was like, uh, he was like, I felt like fear and like a cold sensation How or is whatever. When they when they pull that into these stories, it's like, yeah, like the fear emanated from the creature. It's not like, holy shit, that's a weird, mysterious thing that I can't explain. I'm afraid. <laughs> like, nah, like, but it was projecting that fear at me. So, yeah, like, I wasn't, like, feeling, I I wasn't get, afraid. I don't feel I mean, normally. If it came at me with them quills, yo, I would have thrown it. I'm beat. just saying, I'm fearless. That thing projected its fear onto me. Yeah, I could not resist. Exactly. But but it's actually pretty oh, common so in like chupacabra sightings to have that same like cold feeling. In addition, yeah, because it's, like yeah, it's fucking gross. Yeah, it's fucking gross and weird. <laughs> it's a feeling yeah. of revulsion. That's what it is. But it also could be the feeling that this thing doesn't belong in this universe. Hence, it's an interdimensional creature. That's how it was able to hop into like disappear into thin air because it I was think it's like just a goddamn ninja. I kind of feel that cold and fear whenever I encounter a weeaboo. So I think the weeaboo theory is still there. It's the intense primordial instinct of something that doesn't belong. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, have you guys played this new dating sim? Uh, something's no. not right here. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Just the hair stand up on, on the back of your neck. Just porcupine that shit. So, <laughs> so in this one, uh, it's a little girl that's also a dragon. Why are but, you But, like, butt she head? fondles people. <laughs> it's weird boy. It's fucking yeah. dope. Sounds I'm just like, you that's sound just like voice. Butthead from Beavis and Butthead, though. Thank you. Well, no, you're supposed to be a weeaboo, <laughs> not butthead. You don't think butthead would be a weeaboo? Hell no. Why? Because he's dope. Uh, <laughs> he has a thing for boobies. Yeah. And he's animated. Everybody, so I think animated okay. boobies. Okay, everybody has a thing for boobies. But he's animated, so he would be even more into animated boobies. Yeah, but he's no. also into metal. It's not yeah, like into, he's like, not a weeaboo. J-pop. You don't think no. weeaboos <laughs> are into metal? Because I will tell you right now, there are some seriously weeaboo metal bands out there. No, like uh, like Japan I can see X. Weeaboos being into like Japanese metal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was, like, he was written by Mike Judge. I don't think he would do that. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, Mike Judge, we're place. writing you to ask what your opinion is on Butthead and his status as a weeaboo. <laughs> <laughs> we have an email. You can email us. Confirm or deny. <laughs> also, I have a running theory that Beavis is probably a brony. <laughs> we'll take your silence. 
as confirmation. <laughs> if you do not respond within the next 48 hours, <laughs> I will release my complete theory on the Weeaboo Ness and my little pony fandom of Beavis and Butt. It's a WikiLeaks. <laughs> manifesto. <laughs> It's a manifesto. It's a manifest. It will be a manifesto <laughs> of at least 20 pages in length. That's not a manifesto. It's got to be 81 pages or more. <laughs> <laughs> that one guy's was only 21 pages. I know. His was wrong. <laughs> Dude, I was at the bookstore the other day. It, they had a 20-page manifesto. That's bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> it was called the 20-page manifesto. <laughs> it was called the half-assed manifesto. <laughs> And it was like super huge font. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what do you, what do you think of Chupacabra's Palmer? I still don't know what they look like. There's too many descriptions. So there are these little like skinny. Like that. Or, no, no. Well, that's no, no. actually not yeah. a very good picture yeah, of a Chupacabra. There's so many. There's that one. Yeah, that's traditionally what a Chupacabra is supposed to look like. It they're is. also supposed to be like gray and white and not green. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. gray and white. Yeah, it's just like a feral, uh, feral gray. Yeah, it's like a feral gray alien. Yeah. Like, what like a, if? Why has it got a? Fish yeah, mouth? that's got a pig mouth. What are you doing? So this is a, so the Chupacabra, <laughs> right? I like so it looks kind of like a feral gray, like a gray weird. with like spines and claws and stuff coming out of it. It's like a little imp demon thing. Yeah, they look fucking weird. That's what they look. Like. I think yeah. I think someone in Puerto Rico was just really mean to some. It was just that racist kid. ass dude in his yeah. description. Of Puerto he was, Ricans. He was just <laughs> being a dick to some of the little kids running around who didn't shower and they had really long hair, and he was like, "Oh my god, it's got quills on its back." It's not a chupacabra. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> and the chupacabras are like, "Hey." Wait, <laughs> I've got a real complaint. <laughs> they, they had just got Nirvana. That's how you know they're nearby. I don't know how to explain like the dead animals besides the the fact that they were like using them for something that they didn't want to like talk yeah. about like voodoo or something because they needed all the blood out of the animals or something but like for rape <laughs> <laughs> Jesus this is a whole lot of goat raping I going was, on I was thinking they were just going to make a whole bunch of like <coughs> blood pudding or something but like I mean a, or I it know. could be like an island of Dr. Moreau thing where they're making like a bunch of like weird like or or someone saw all the animals and went, oh shit, free animals, and like drained them of blood. They were going to skin them, but like were super stoned, so they forgot about it. <laughs> and, then just, and then the next day they saw it in the newspaper and went, oh, Is that us? shit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just chop it up and sell chupacabra. <laughs> they just like, they kept going, all right, let's get a goat. Nah, you know what? Let's get a chicken. Nah, not chickens. Let's try a cow. Check out this farm. You know what? I think the goat would be better. They just keep like stabbing the exsanguinating (laughs) thing into like a bunch of different animals on the farm. They keep draining them of blood and they just go, (laughs) yeah, I'm not really feeling goat. Let's uh, let's do cow. (laughs) Let's try this cat. (laughs) Why don't they exsanguinate people though? That's what I want to know. So why are people not good enough? So here's the thing: we chupacabras. If I'm asking chup- you publicly. <laughs> if this chupacabra is like some type of gray alien or some sort of subspecies of gray, a gray alien, if you will. <laughs> there's actually a lot of stuff in cattle mutilation <laughs> uh, that's similar to like chupacabra attacks. Other than like cattle mutilation, seems to have like surgical oh precision, God. like laser cuts and stuff in in animals, but. Like There's parts. also been some cases of human mutilation, like there have been ca- cattle mutilation, where like oh, people have turned up with those same cuts and like the puncture wounds and stuff. The reason El Chupacabra doesn't eat people is because our sugar, our blood sugar is too high. And he's diabetic. And it's diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would be amazing. <laughs> So like, so we can't eat humans because we're we're too prone to eating too much corn syrup and our blood sugar is too high. So I think another possibility for the chupacabra is that, uh, like, have you guys ever seen the Montauk monster before? No. Well, there used to be a like federal facility on Montauk, like in Montauk, New Jersey, where they would do like experiments, but they wouldn't really say what they were. And this creature washed up on the beach. It looked like this weird pig looking thing but with like a sharp like beak and like like weird like cancerous looking skin and stuff right what if like what the chupacabra is is like 
the result of an experiment that we've run on Greys in yeah, Puerto, Rico. The ship to Puerto Rico. And like it just got loose. <laughs> and they're like, we don't, we don't know what happened, guys. Like our bad. The government it's, just went. They can't oops. catch it. They're just fucking like running around, turning into the logs and shit. What and if? <laughs> what if? Around. What if? What it was? It learned is they too. genetically combined a gray with a ninja and then had a vampire bite it. And the, Why would they the, do this? <laughs> because they're the government. They, this is, they have gone too far. They're trying to create... They didn't spend enough time thinking about what they... Thought, well, they thought about what they could do instead of what, what they, they should okay. do. Okay, first of all, I want to know is how Plus can they like, catch... How can they catch fair. a gray? How can they catch a vampire? And how can they catch a ninja? And then combine them all. Like, Two words. Uh, government. Government. But then they can't catch them when they're all combined. All I have to say is if you could combine those things, why wouldn't you? See, no, they have Because <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> a, a, a creature that can't the implications. die. It can't die. It eats us. You can't right? catch it. Like it it turn into us. a log when you think you killed it. <laughs> like, throw some shurikens at it. <laughs> and it just goes... And it was just a log the whole time. <laughs> it's just like... Oh one god, the clone jutsu! One chupacabra comes like running at you and then splits into 15 chupacabras. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do then? Can't, can't beat it. <laughs> and then it splits again into four individuals and starts a grunge band. <laughs> <laughs> Come as you are with your blood. <laughs> So, uh, Bring what do you mean? your goats. <laughs> Bring your cows and chickens, too. <laughs> uh, so, what do you think of Chupacabras, Ryan? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on board with this one. I you think, like the Chupacabra? I think there's definitely a Chupacabra. The, just the geographic distance uh, <laughs> and the, the similarities and descriptions... And how badass they are. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. I'm on board with this I one. Think, I think chupacabras are dope as fuck. Like, I, I really want the chupacabra to exist. That'd be really fucking cool. I like this one because it's just fucking pointless. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like... What's, Who's going to make all this shit up? And like, if there's why? anything we know about the universe is that it is all fucking pointless. It's random. Which makes it fit in even more. fucking weird. Yeah, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I give this one two thumbs... Sort of. A. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of chupacabras, Robert? Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards the theory that it's just like some old lady with dementia who saw species and confused it with real life. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time she did this. No. <laughs> <laughs> like a couple years. But couple... also, I was just looking it up, and like they have these things called uh, Patagonian cavies, which they're kind of like a. They're like a weird, like, rabbit-looking thing. That thing is I fucking could, dope. What is it? It's but I can kind of see that being confused. Oh, that thing's fucking cool. Can you ride that? I can kind of see that being confused for a chicken. It looks like it's two feet tall. Too. I mean... <laughs> I think you could ride that. I mean, it doesn't have, like, spines or, no. or like... I don't know. It's yeah, but if she's tripping on acid, I mean... I if it's, know. like, shaved... I don't know. I can see it. <laughs> yeah, what if, what if it somehow became hairless, like it has some disease? Like mange? Right. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like mange, so it's just, like, got, like, patches of hair... You can see know. that, I guess. Yeah. Or it's albino. I like to imagine, like, two weeks before that, instead of, like, the species thing, mm-hmm. she just saw, like, John Rambo doing all the same stuff. <laughs> 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 just exsanguinating her fucking lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was outside with the knife, and he slid in the throat of my chickens. He was, like, six feet tall. Yeah, what they don't tell you is, like, she saw Top Gun on cable the next week and thought that was real life. Like... <laughs> <laughs> fucking like F-15 like flew through and like blew all our cattle this morning. Tom Cruise he was on my roof he <laughs> eat my chicken oh shit Chupacabra's just Tom Cruise Tom Cruise oh, shit <laughs> Tom Cruise flew a plane into Twin Tower dude <laughs> Tom Cruise Tom Cruise Tom Cruise has those three front teeth that are so fucking weird. Yeah. And they have, like, the three puncture marks to their neck. Holy shit. It could shit. totally have oh been Tom God. fucking Holy Cruise. Holy shit. <laughs> El Chupacabra oh is just an experiment of Scientology. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, well, I'm oh on board God. with this theory. Yeah. <laughs> I am Cut freaking print. out. <laughs> I can totally see Tom Cruise doing it. Yep. Like, uh, like that's how he stays young. That's where we got, we've that's got motive. That's why he hasn't aged. Yep. <laughs> we've got motive. 
We've got witnesses. <laughs> he's got means. What else do you need? He's we got the murder weapon. He's got that weird middle tooth. <laughs> it's it's clear to me that Tom Cruise is behind these attacks. Yep. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> uh but yeah, like uh what what do you think uh what do you think the chupacabra would be if it was real? What kind of it's it a chupacabra? What what kind of question is I that? I mean, like, is it uh, an alien? Is it an animal? Is it, like, it's El some sort of experiment? It's Joe Pesci. Interdimensional being? I think he's on something. It's going to be Joe Pesci. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, it's just Joe Pesci and Tom Cruise sneaking around Puerto Rico. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling this Tom Cruise thing. I think that's, uh, I think that's what it is. Uh, he was in an interview with a vampire because it spoke to him on a Holy very shit. personal level. <laughs> oh, my God. And the, and the, like, fucking weird call that they do is just that scream from the new Mummy movie. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so fast because he runs constantly. Yeah, he, yeah. All he does is run. He does not quit running. <laughs> and and we've seen him scale buildings without any kind of harness or, or any kind of restraint, just like the Chupacabra could do. Exactly. But we have we ever hire, seen him turn into a log? a camera crew. Has Tom Cruise ever turned into a log? I believe he has. <laughs> I need video evidence of Tom Cruise turning into a log. You need to hire a, a camera crew to follow Tom Cruise around 24-7. <laughs> it's the only way we Perhaps can be sure. Perhaps the paparazzi. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I personally think the Chupacabra's real. I think, uh, I think like, well... <laughs> I want it to be real. I'll put it that way because I, I think it would be fucking cool. Yeah, I want to believe. I'm just gonna get that tattooed on my fucking chest. <laughs> just I want to believe in the chupacabra because like the chupacabra is so fucking. I mean, you could just look at the pictures. It's so fucking rad looking. I mean, why would it not be real? Like why? <laughs> like that. Was, it's so fucking cool looking. Why would it not be real? But like. uh yeah, so I guess that's it for the Chupacabra. I, I say real. That's a no for me, dog. He doesn't think it's real. I give it two reels up. <laughs> two reels. I'm on the fence about it. I am on the fence about it. So <laughs> That counts as real. That guy, yeah, we're taking that one. You're outvoted three to one. So uh, we'll see you guys uh, next week. Make sure to rate, review, and subscribe on iTunes. Make hey, sure yes. to no. <laughs> check out uh, check out our Patreon. Check out our Patronus. We're uh, we're trying real hard to get new equipment for you guys. I I bought like I bought two more individual mics for and they ended up being fucking useless. So we're having to start building from the ground up. Uh, so email us. Let us know your weird stories. Uh, call the fucking number. Uh, check out the podcast from our friends that we've had advertised on here. Um, thank you, uh, Ruth Ann from Wiki Ship Down for the shout out this week. That was dope. Uh, thank you to Steven from the Is This Adulting podcast. He gave us a shout out this week. That was also fucking dope. Uh, and we're still doing the two pods a day thing. We should pop up on it sometime this week. So keep your eyes peeled, guys. Until then, uh, we'll see you next week. Don't get eaten by chupacabras. Weird. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Podcast. Podcast. <laughs>
Again, that's 919-346-3071. We also have a a Gmail account set up. You can email us at uh, weirdshitpodcast at gmail.com. That's W-E-I-R-D shit podcast at gmail.com. You can send us your stories that way. Uh, We also have a Facebook group. Uh, I noticed people seem to be liking the page instead of the group. Uh, If you want to be part of the discussions, uh, just search on the Facebook search. Type in Weird Shit Podcast Official and go to groups and it should show our group there. Uh, also, uh, to anyone who's listening on iTunes, uh, if you could rate, review, and subscribe, it would be a huge, huge, huge help for us. It'll help us reach more people. We can keep this thing growing. Uh, maybe eventually we can figure out some way that we'll be able to do this even more for you guys. Uh, this, uh, this season, we're trying out some new stuff with our case files and, uh, regular episodes, so... Uh, It should be pretty fun, and thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you for telling your friends. Uh, Thank you for helping us in this and being a part of this whole thing, and stay weird.